it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today I'm going to be talking about a couple of more of my favorite covers. Today I'm going to be talking about three of my favorite historical fiction covers. Okay, I know I said that it was so hard for me to pick out covers before because I'm such a cover snob and I love the covers on my shelf, but do you know the amount of historical fiction books I have? You might say I'm a little bit obsessed. To dwindle it down to three of my favorites <sighs> wasn't very nice of myself. These are just some that I really enjoy from my shelves and I normally don't talk about these books so I thought that I'd throw them in a video somewhere. The first book that I really really love the cover of is For the Record by Regina Jennings. I really enjoy lots of aspects about this book. One, her outfit is super cute. Also, her hair is cute. It's like in a side curled ponytail. And she's got a journal and a wood pencil. And the face she's making in this book is just so stinking cute. And I love it. The next cover I'm going to talk about is The Mark of the King by Jocelyn Green. This is a beautiful cover. Her dress is gorgeous. That's the focal point of the cover. I love the colors. The It just screams 1700s France, which is literally where it's based in the time period, which I think is so cool from the font to the dress to the cover, all things. It is a absolutely beautiful cover. The last book that I'm going to talk about in this video is The Lady and the Lionheart by Joanne Bischoff. And hello, this book is about the circus. How long? There's like a little red top. You know how it's like the big red top. Well, right now we got a little red top because it's about the circus. She has the lion tamer's hat and she's got a fishtail braid and it's just beautiful and I love the colors. It's there's something about this that is just bright and really draws your eye. Another thing I really love about this cover is a lot of books have gorgeous backs as well, but they're not as detailed whereas this book it's literally a close-up of her fishtail braid and if you know me you know that I love braids and hair and anything that has to do with that so to see a close-up of her fishtail braid I just really loved the back cover of this book though it killed me to only pick three again these are not just my only favorites that I have of historical fiction just a couple that I thought that I shared with you guys they are some absolutely gorgeous pictures and I truly love all three of these covers I really enjoyed this book if you haven't read this book you really should and you should tell me if you've read either one of these books if I should read them I mean I'm going I should read them because obviously they're on my shelves but if I should bump them to the top of my never-ending TBR pile because they are beautiful and that shouldn't be the only reason why I read a book but it normally is wow I'm shallow all right <laughs> don't forget you can check out my blog for the love of Christian fiction .com, and you can also follow my Instagram which is for the love of Christian fiction all my other links are in the description box below, and I think that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!